you joined me in a place called Tivoli in Italy because I am about to embark on one of the road trips I am most excited for. I am driving an Italian car across most of Italy. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And right now, you join me in a place called Villa Deste. Villa Deste, as you can tell, is one of the most beautiful pieces of property in Italy. And that brings me on to my point of this road trip. This road trip is both to have loads of fun, to enjoy the car, which you're going to see in a little bit, on our way to Top Max Monaco. But mainly, I want to explore Italy. This is one of my favorite countries in the world. And we're starting it here, somewhere I've always wanted to go. And we're going to explore what I think is an absolute gem of a country. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Back. I thought this race was too incredible to not give you some B-roll montage. It's a 60th century Italian house. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And that's what this trip is about. It's about educating myself mainly, but also you guys on Italy, this country, and just everything in general. But that is not the main cause for this road trip. The main cause is to have some fun in a pretty special car. I didn't see you there. Welcome to a beautiful lake in Italy now. We are exploring further and we've come to one of the most beautiful places in the world. But I thought it was probably about time that I showed you what myself and a friend who is joining me, he's behind the camera currently, are going to be riding in. You've obviously already seen it. And yes, it is a gorgeous TDF blue with beige interior Ferrari California. This thing is an absolute beast, naturally aspirated, 490 horsepower. We've got two seats in case we happen to have two extra passengers. We've got the roof, which can go down. So on these sunny, well, it's not, well, it's still pretty sunny, but we're meant to have amazing weather uh, during this trip. We're gonna be able to put the roof down and enjoy this car properly. This is a road trip I've always dreamed of. I am in a Ferrari and I am driving around Italy. This is what dreams are made of and I cannot wait to explore more of this absolutely gorgeous country. But before I start blabbing on too much, why don't we just get in the car, blab on in there because that's where I wanna be right now. I wanna be behind the wheel and the key is in my pocket. So let's hit the road and tell you a bit more about our plans on this trip. Welcome, welcome. So Ferrari, <laughs> it likes to beep. We are currently gonna be driving back. So we're starting this road trip off in Rome. Oh, that sound. So the road trip starts in Rome. So today we're in Rome and then tomorrow morning, we are actually leaving and going to Florence. If you don't know Florence, well, we're gonna educate you on it tomorrow. Being able to experience a car in all kinds of different environments. Right now we're on country roads. 
but we're going to be doing plenty of motorway. We're going to be going all over this country and exploring all of the little nooks and crannies and all its secrets, which is going to be pretty fantastic. So on the way, there is going to be Florence, as I said, Milan. We're going to Milan. We're going to be in Brescia for cars and coffee, Brescia, and then to Monaco for the one, the only, probably the event I get asked about the most, Monaco Top Marks Week. And there, there'll be a lot of different YouTubers, and that's where we'll end it. We'll spend about a week there, getting content for you, driving different cars, and that is a week I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I hope you're as excited as I am. For a first day, I could not ask for better. The sun's out, the roof's down, the engine's roaring, what an unreal experience. Obviously, I'll talk to you guys about this car as we go on throughout the trip. But my initial impressions is because I had driven a uh, California T a while back. And I actually really enjoyed that. And this car, the California, has a reputation for being a bit slightly softer, more Grand Tourer Ferrari. And of course it is. It is softer. You don't have race mode or anything like that, but the softest Ferrari is still not a very soft car. Let me tell you, this thing is still excessively exciting. It sounds amazing. This one's so much more so than the T with its nasty aspirated V8. Same engine, or uh, well, based on the same engine that was used in the F430. It's got the classic, very direct Ferrari steering, but a lot lighter than in the other ones I experienced. The suspension is a lot more supple and compliant. Ample, ample enough of power speed and the noise. I don't know if you can hear the crackles coming from the exhaust. Oh, it's just, it's unreal. And in terms of practicality, we're able to bring our suitcases on this trip. We're able to pack two people in the back if we need to. There are so many more options. If you're looking to do track days, then of course this is not the car, but if you're looking to cruise around a country with the roof down as we are, then this thing, this thing is pretty high up there in terms of perfection. I mean, if you hear one of these when you're on it, it's something else. Listen to this. Wow. Should we do it? We've just found a bridge, guys. Is it a bridge or a dam? No, it's a bridge. Wow. Wow. What is this? This is insane. I love this country so much. Hey! Let's go! Bet! Yo, once again I'm back.